So uh, yesterday, Tracy had gone down to Target, and I was cleaning the wound on my foot, and I uh, was searching in my doorway for antibiotic lotion that uh, the hospital had given me right at that spot. How many times have I been there? Thousands. And uh, all of a sudden, some chick cop comes up behind me, startles me, and I'm digging in the door. I'm out of the car, digging in the door, and she startles me, and I go, what are you doing? And she says, uh, I thought you were overdosed. And I was like, what? Because for one thing, I was standing up moving, but I realized now that that had nothing to do with it. No. It was a story concocted to do the same thing again. And then Anybody who's watched any of my videos, you will see a video from August and you will see one from September. Both times, groups of cops approached us both times for no warrant, no probable cause, no calls for service, and just decided at both times they, they all cite this training. We have training. They think that they can determine by looking at someone's eyes in broad daylight why their pupils would be pinned. Their pupils, their pupils are pinned too. Well, so uh, that's what they did. First, it was I was parked in the red by two feet. Not then I was. Two feet. It was two. And then I was uh, uh, overdosing, but I wasn't. No, you and then not. it was I was under the influence. Which I can't so move. Tracy ran down. She saw they were coming. She filmed some of it. I'll have that on the thing later. Yeah. Uh, once again, all there's they get backup because backup is just waiting. For any cop anywhere, backup is waiting somewhere around the corner. And uh, they ended up arresting me, taking me up to Ventura County uh, for 11550 California Penal Code. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they let's not forget this. They you. grabbed me and... Uh, we they were trying to wrench my arm, so I fucking clenched up. And old tore up me that I am still takes six thirty year olds to fuck around. You were fuck around. telling them that you they were hurting you. Yeah. And then they slammed your head into so the car door. So they picked me up. They they cinched the cuffs around too way too tight. Then they picked me up, slammed me into the side of the car, which is all on video, and uh, arrested me for under the influence of what? I don't know. Because according to the first cop, when we asked for the supervisor, and he was all gung-ho too, he told, uh, he recounted the story that she said, I was slumped over the wheel you weren't even for two you were minutes inside the, inside the car, and she uh, assumed that I was overdosing. But why would anyone assume right. that? Why wouldn't you just assume they're sleeping? But you weren't even there. Inside the and I wasn't even in the car. I wasn't slumped over the hood. The wheel or anything. The door was open and I was out digging in it. So, uh, well, when they went to when they went to uh, grab me and search me up, we struggled. We you. struggled a little bit, and then I consented to let go. But then they just couldn't fucking take a win. So they charged me with not only uh, eleven five fifty, which is under the influence, by and their only evidence is that this chick cop could see my pupils were pinned. So what too. is it that I was under the influence of? Hurts but then too. they also charged me with resisting arrest. Of course. I contend that this bitch is not medically fucking trained. They have no idea. This is just a, a ploy, a story that cops use when all else fails to arrest you. It's their catch-all story. And that's what's going on in, in California right now. This is not and about why? even, it's not even about, but we just happen to be at the forefront of a lot of things. And so they try them out on us. 
but they lie and they do all this shit and the courts they back are, them up. They are legally. So they took me they, down to, uh, to into a jail, booked me, and uh, talk shit, and of drenched my arms that. some more, trying to make me walk with my hands behind Show my back. Uh, you know, yeah, my arms are on arms. Instagram. And <clears throat> so what the fun, and then they, uh, I had chest pains, so they called the hospital, hospital to oh, don't control. Oh, breaking into the car. Oh, yeah, they broke into the car. I was <laughs> I had locked the car. Was- I right. left it and was standing away from it. Tracy was not in the car. I was sitting over According filming. to them, that if they could determine by pinned eyes, they could look into the pupils of your eyes, this is enough to warrant a search of your locked vehicle. No, it's not because I refuse and to And it's like, are search. you kidding? They saw a weed pipe and we go, it's paraphernalia. A uh, news flash to the fucking police. About it's 10 years legal. ago, it became legal. And I don't even smoke pot. But she was grabbing things, that's everything she could. So they just feel like they got the right uh, to take the keys she, that they took yeah. off me and then open the door. What, whoever, what voter gave them in. the right? But because So they have booked me and then uh, the hospital took me. And then they released me today because it wasn't a heart attack. I just had chest pains. Why did I have because, chest pains when I was getting arrested? Stint, because, because I have a stint. I was pissed. And that's what happens. Now the cops are pissed that I got released because they wanted to keep me in for this nicky knack little misdemeanor of which I didn't even commit. And uh, on my windows. keep me in there till Tuesday. They were, they were pounding on my windows before you could get in yeah. there. So, Both windows at 8 o'clock this morning while I was sleeping wanted me to open the door because we were parked. And I am certain this, this is all under the guise and direction of Jason Havelka, Camarillo's homeless liaison cop, and, and a fucking Ventura sheriff. sheriff himself. Oh. Because I've pissed them off. I've called them all out. Uh, you know, fuck them. We have a right to exist. We when I got back still. this morning after walking a couple of miles on my bad foot because I got a bus that dropped me off way across town, though. They were trying to get the car before. They were trying. They knew I, I had gotten not. released. They were trying to get in the car. I would not and open the door. And I had to call in and tell them they were threatening my when life. When I got in... That's when all of a sudden, one of the cops called her back about them trying to get in. And I told that guy, I said, if you guys are such fucking badasses, why don't you take off your badge, take off your gun, come on an off day, we'll go to an MMA ring, and I will fucking rip their heads off. And they're all half. They, they think right. they're all fucking badass. They want to wear little boys' t-shirts to make themselves look bigger. If they're fucking so tough, why don't they do that? Why don't they? They do. They just go ahead and use their guns and batons. And we, uh, we my point hurt. is, they're not very tough because I don't give and a they fuck. They make shit up. Uh, I've, I've fucked around with all kinds of people. And I know one thing about gang members is that if you, to jump in and jump out, you got to fucking put them up. And uh, you better not be fucking shy or late about getting your fists up. These guys would never, ever bust a grape of any kind without six to ten of their homies around. With guns. With guns and the power and the license. So that's that's the deal. They think they're tough and they're weak. They are weak they as fuck. They don't know the law. They don't know the Constitution. And they are not medical personnel. And they cannot tell when, when somebody has pinned eyes because that, that woman cop had pinned eyes. Yeah. Everybody this is the t- third so, time. So if that's the case, within why did 10 they months take me to jail? That they've done this. Tossed a car, tied. Uh, 
arrested me, and, bo- and then they don't file. This is just a way to harass. harass Not to mention terrorize. the 30 other times in between, in between that they've they done it. weird they shit to light, fucking... light us up with their red... Yeah, red yeah, light. yeah. Wave at us and everything like wave this. Wave at us. It's like, like, hey, we're... And if he was so, such under the influence, I had pinned eyes, too. Why didn't Everybody they, had pinned eyes. It was broad why, fucking daylight. That's what like eye pupils are supposed to do. Why They're supposed to dilate they, closed and keep out the unnecessary sunlight. When it's nighttime, they go wide and let in the ambient light of the night. So why didn't they question me about being under the influence or, or telling me I was under the influence? Because they were like just as close to me as they were to him because I was filming it. That's why. Yeah. And so they're it, starting their illegal. shit. This is three times in, within 10 months. Okay. And uh, they... Uh, we beat the first one. They didn't I sure wish some two. lawyer had a fucking set and would represent us because he would win and we would all come up. But that's what's happening again. We weren't doing anything. I was cleaning the wound on my foot. If you, don't, if you can't gone. even follow doctor's directions and clean your own fucking wounds, what the fuck is going on in America? Jesus Christ. Please get that a constitutional law person. Call us. Email us. Do something. This is just... You guys, they are out of control. They, they are out of control. And... Uh, they still couldn't whoop me, though. <laughs> That's true. So they fuck them. They could me because they're And I'm tore up. And they still had to have six oh. of them. And they, they, I, had to, I had to basically give up and let go for them to fucking, you know, they just want to pull bullshit. There was no bullshit. cause for that. None you, of it. You said you would cooperate. Okay, yes. Just give my wife my keys and my wallet. And my Oh, yeah. Wife. Every time they do that, too. They take the shit off my body, which to me, on an illegal arrest that they know is illegal, and that's unlawful. stealing. That's robbing at gunpoint and fucking kidnapped me. Yeah, they kidnapped Three times me. they've done this. They've kidnapped me off site. They've planted whatever. They didn't even bother planting. We chased them out of the car yesterday. So I they did. couldn't. I so how the, the fuck car. are they going to prove? By pinned eyes? I didn't give no spit, blood, piss, nothing. Yeah, which is your right. But according to them, they have 40 hours of training. Oh, that is supersedes doctors of uh, fucking eight years or more. I mean, come on. When did the voters vote this shit in? Did you they guys? Did. And you know what? Maybe it's happening to me first. No, it's not but happening it will happen, happen to, to you, you too. too. And as soon as they already. run out of one group of people, they start it on the next one. So uh, if you don't care, fine. See what happens. If you because do care, do something about it. I mean, I Write fucking your... put myself on the line all, all the time. The time. So and yet I. Uh, I only have so much uh, power or voice in this, do- in this fight. The, people that have money or have a house or something, they could, you could do something. You could voice your an, your an attorney, or yeah. because nobody, go to council meetings and say fuck them cops, fire them. 